Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss morphology of tortoise. Tortoise is one of the oldest reptiles on the earth that remain unchanged since prehistoric times. It belongs to kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, class Amphibia and family Testodinida. Its body consists of head, neck, body, limbs, claws, tail, skeleton or shell. Head. Its head is distinct block-like in appearance. It consists of beak, eyes, nares, and ears. Beak. It has no teeth. It only has a very strong beak that's used to shred and grind the food. Eyes. It has a pair of narrow-looking eyes placed more forward near the nose. It has a third eyelid to protect the eye while boring. Its eye can see in a small range of colors. Nares. Two little openings near the front of its beak called nares that helps in respiration. Ears. Its ear holes are hidden under a scale behind the eyes and above the jaws. So it's located near the back head. Scales cover the internal ear that leads to eardrum. Neck. It has a long wrinkly neck with five vertebra. Unlike most of animals, it can pull its head straight back into its shell by covering its neck backward into a shape body its body is designed for life on land it can live in drastic environmental conditions it has a heavy shell elephant like legs and claws limbs it has a pair of forelimbs and a pair of hind limbs that are heavily armored with thick scales in some species scales looks like spines to deter the predators Claws. Because it's a land creature, it has toes and claws. Its big claws make it an amazing digger. Tortoise is digitigrade because it walks on its digits and toes like elephant. Tail. Its tail determines its gender. Male's tail is much lengthy than female's. Cloica near the base of the tail. An opening or hole called cloica is present, which is used for excretion and reproduction. Skeleton is made up of two parts, exoskeleton and endoskeleton. Exoskeleton. It grows with tortoise. It consists of carapace, its top of the shell, and plastron, it adds the bottom of the shell. Scutes. It creates little circular shapes called secutes. Secutes color becomes more darker and mature with its growth. Types of secutes. Marginal secutes, nuchal secutes, coastal secutes, vertebral secutes. Marginal secutes is present on outer bottom edge of the carapace and along the back end. Nuchal secutes is present at the back of the neck. Coastal secutes is present along the side. Vertebral secutes is present directly along the spine. Plastron. Its bottom of the shell. It is smaller than carapace. It is connected with carapace by secutes. Bridge that consists of paired gullers, humeral secutes, pectoral secutes, abdominal secutes, femoral secutes, and anal secutes. Gullus are present near the neck. In males, plastron is slightly concave which helps it in mating. In female, it's flattened because she doesn't have to fit her mating partner beneath her. The anal secutes in female is shorter and more flexible than male to help her in laying eggs easily. Endoskeleton. It's also called internal bones. It's divisible into appendicular skeleton and axial skeleton. Appendicular skeleton. It includes limbs, bones, and griddle. Axial skeleton. It includes ribs, vertebra, and skull. Thank you.